Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for DNNHere.com and in this video I'll be talking about a skin object called Module Actions Menu from Watchers.net and this menu is supposed to work as a replacement of the standard action menu that, uh, that gets pulled down when you move the mouse over the triangle in in a, in a container in .NET Nook. So let me let me show a bigger example. Actually, this is the post from Sebastian Leopold that got me interested in this module. Basically, here he gives a snapshot of how the action menu will look like after this skin object is installed in your .NET Nook website. <clears throat> and but not only that, there is also some change that needs to be done to the to the container, I think. But let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Let's see if how well that will work. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to the page, their page, and there's a download link. I'm gonna click there. And from here, I can download and install that module as a regular module, as a regular uh, .NET Nook module. So I'm gonna save it locally. Now I'm gonna go to my site, I'm gonna log in. I have actually logged in as super user account because I have to install a new module. So I'm going to go to host, module definitions, and I'm going to install the module as a regular .NET module. Action menu, and then click on install module. Browse, I'm going to go to the folder. Here's the folder which has the module. Click open, next, click next again, and next again. Accept the license, click next, and it's installed. So let's click on return. Now, the module was installed, but it does not show up here in the list because it's just not a regular module. It's just a skin object. So now we have to see an example of, of that, uh, that skin, that control, sorry, that container objects working in action. So here's what we're going to do. The default container of, of a standard .NET installation is the minimal extra is located under the minimal extra P container package and it's called the the title gray. We can just check that very very easily by going to admin site settings and then scroll down under appearance you're going to see portal container minimal extra P title gray and that container is also the minimal extra peak title gray as well. So we do need to go to those containers and make a change to those containers so they can use the new container object that we have just installed. So let's go back here to the home page. I'm going to open the site files and I'm I'm I have installed the site in my local system. So this is my local computer. This is my local uh, C drive and I'm the root folder of my site. Now from the root folder of my site, I'm going to go to portals, to default, to containers, minimal extropy, and then there is one file called title gray, which has been used as a default container in my website. I'm going to open that file in a, in a text editor. So here's a file open. And there are two things that we need to do here to make use of the new, the new container object that we have just installed. One is that we need to register a new, uh, control app at the top. And I'll be posting those, those two lines in the video post. And the second one is the actual tag that will take care of showing the, the new menu. I'm just going to go and put it in, in the very bottom of, of my container. So I just did both changes. Before I save this, I just want to go back to my site, go back to the home page. And as you can see, I moved the mouse over the action menu. This is the standard action menu. If I right click in this content area, this is actually the, the drop down, the, uh, the, the menu from from Firefox. Now I'm going to go to my container, to the container that I have changed, put the registered and then put the, the tag here. I'm going to save the changes. 
I'm going to go back to my site and I'm going to refresh this. So once I refresh, the change should have taken effect. So now, you see, if I right click inside the, the, the containers, there is, or there is this new uh, menu that shows up automatically here. And this is coming from the module actions menu that we have just installed. So the, the old, uh, action menu is still here because we have not removed it, but it's very easy to remove that as well. And I'll show that in a second. But again, let's just try, for instance, in this content area here. If I right click, I can see uh, in anywhere. If I right click anywhere within the content, I can click edit content. I can click in any one of those options that regularly you'd have to go to the action menu. Now let me go back. And just to give, just to show how to do that, I'm, I can remove easily this triangle from here as well, the little action menu, because if I can just right click, I, I might just do that as well. So if I go back to the container at the top where it says actions, I can delete this and I can save. And if I refresh, the little triangle is gone. And now I can only go to the action menu by right clicking inside the content. Again, you may want to do that. You may not want to do that up to you. I'm just showing how to do it. I'm going to revert that back to go back and be able to see it. Now this control, this object, it comes with a couple of different variations in terms of colors. Right now, if you right click, it shows a, a whitish type of background. And if I open the, the site files and if I go to desktop modules, and then watchers net and then skins. There are a couple of variations here. There's a, there's one with background gray, orange, red, and white. White is the one that we're using right now. If I go back to the container, let's try the red one. If I go back to the container and here in the module actions menu tag, I can find a parameter that says CSS file. I can re replace it by instead of module menu white, I'm going to put it module menu red. I'm going to save this. I'm going to refresh the site. And now the background should be red. Again, it ships with four different backgrounds. If I right click, as you can see, there's already a, a red background. Depending on your site's look and feel, you may want to change that. We can change this again. Let's see another option. We can have the gray option. Let's go back there and replace red by gray. Let's save this. Go back to the site, refresh the site, right click again. And now we do see a grayish type of background. And the very last one is the orange one. So if I go back, replace by orange, we sh and save this, we should be able to see with an orange background now. And those skins, those variations, they are all customizable here. You can come here and, and play around and do your own thing here. So basically, this is it. This is how you can go about replacing the standard uh, action menu and even the SOPAR menu for older .NET sites with, with this quite quite uh uh nice quite uh quite neat menu control that uh was created by watchers net and it's available for free at this point okay so basically this is it for now thank you very much and bye